first step is to install the brackets to the cooler. And the bottom bracket goes um, the bottom, I suppose. And then the top bracket goes with the uh, main sort of uh, attachment off to the left. Once you've installed the brackets, they should look like this. Got the small tab coming off the bottom. Got the large tab at the top and off to the left hand side. The bracket sits on the back of the cooler. Okay, once you've got the brackets onto the cooler, you can um, install it into the vehicle. You should be able to pass it down through, over the top. Um, make sure the horn is out of the way and just loosely attach the top bolt with the M8 bolts. Now you should be able to do this without having to take the front bumper off. We've just taken the front bumper off for clarity. Now the bottom bolt, we supply a M8 uni strut nut uh, and a bolt because it's not captive in the bottom so just pass it through the back of the cross members open so you should be able to pass it through and then attach the bottom mount to the vehicle so once you've got all the bolts in place you can go back and tighten everything up So it's mounted in three spots there, nice and sturdy. Should handle the corrugations and rough tracks quite well. We've also positioned the hoses so that they're easy to get to so we can run the hoses. Uh, we'll do that later and show you how to hook that up. So we have to take the front bash plate off and you'll see the uh, transmission lines. These are the two metal ones here. They go into the bottom of the radiator. So we've actually figured out that this top one, the one with the short bit of hose, is actually the return, and this is the um, yep. input into the radiator, the incoming fluid. So what we have to do is we have to plumb the auxiliary cooler into this line here. So one end of the cooler will go into the metal hose here. We'll get rid of this hose altogether, and then plumb up the other end to the radiator right here. So that will position the cooler after the radiator heater cooler. So we'll go and run the lines for that and then show you how it's all done. Now it's time to plumb up the cooler. So we're going to remove this small section of hose that goes from the radiator there back to the transmission because this is actually the return line. This short line is a return line. So we've removed that. You'll get a little bit of leakage, but you can see the you can see the uh, barb there. We're going to connect that to the bottom of the uh, new transmission cooler so it fills up from the bottom. So we're just going to go do that and then the other end, which is, I'll just go around over here, which is this, this one here, goes back to the transmission. We're going to connect the other end of the cooler to that metal barb and then we just get rid of this hose altogether. Now that we've run all the hoses, we're going to top up the uh, hoses and the cooler with uh, some extra fluid. We're going to need about 300 mil. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this gearbox oil uh, pump. And the nozzle there fits perfectly inside the hose, which makes it really easy. You're going to need about 300 mil to uh, top up the cooler and the hoses. So we go ahead and do that and then we'll hook it all up and then check the leaks. So this is the transmission cooler for the N80 Hilux installed and plumbed up. We've got the transmission cooler and the brackets, stainless steel brackets. We've got the hose routed along the bottom here and just over the top of the chassis rail. And 
underneath. So if you can have a look here, we got one end of the transmission cooler going into the outlet of the radiator cooler. That's the original outlet. And then the other end goes back to the transmission, which is this one here. So you just plumb it in like so. Um, then what we need to do is we'll need to just start the motor up and check the leaks. But keep it all nice and tidy. It's a fairly neat install of a transmission cooler for the N80 Hilux. Last step, just starting up the car, checking leaks. That one looks good. That one there looks good. And we're just checking the ones underneath. No, we're all no good down here. No leaks. Did a proper job. <laughs> 